Alright, so here's the plan. We got one hexagon tank here. It currently has a figure eight puffer and two green spotted. Gotta get the green spotted out. Alright, so here's the plan. We got one hexagon tank here. It currently has a figure eight puffer and two green spotted. Gotta get the green spotted out, and we're gonna put them over here in this hexagon tank, which has slightly different water parameters. They're not really supposed to be with each other, but you know what? They've been good up to this point, but now I think it's time we separate them. And in order to do that, we're gonna get this bucket in there and scoop them up. You don't want to get pufferfish outside of the water because if they inhale air and puff, then it's our job to get it out and that's not the easiest of tasks. So I'm going to get these guys in the bucket and then I'll show you the acclimation process. Alright, I got Kiwi in her little tub here getting ready for acclimation. Acclimation. <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to film it. See, me and the rest of the aqua fam here all have the COVID, so we're all split up. So I'm going to try to do this for you guys on camera. Just get the bucket in there. Of course, the little guy goes down. See him right over there. All right, it's been about 10 minutes and I caught bubbles. I'm going to pour some of this water out. Alright, now let's go over to the other. What we're going to do is we're just going to pour bubbles in. And bring this water back. So this water right here is at a salinity level of 1.008. Which is ideal for the figure 8. And pretty good for... The green spotteds. But the green spotteds have to go up in salinity as they get older. So now we got this one at, I believe it was 1.016. So it's about eight points higher. We're going to get a drip line going, which I'll show you how to make a drip line right now. All right, I kind of lied. I don't have any extra hose and I don't feel like pulling anything apart. So we're not going to do a drip line. We're just going to slowly add water to their water. All right. So basically what I got going on right now is I got the, both the puffer fish in this here container. I got a lid over most of it, but I can still get in through the front because puffer fish do like to jump. So I don't want them to get out. This is the water that they were currently in, in the smaller aquarium. And I'm going to take here. I got this cup. Literally all I'm going to do is gonna fill this cup with water and then I'm going to pour it in with the puffer fish and I'm going to make sure they can't jump out. Slide the lid over. I'm going to wait. I personally like to wait anywhere between 5 and 10 minutes per cup. That's just me. That's my opinion. Don't take that for heart. But um, I'm going to wait about 10 minutes. I'm going to come in. I'm going to take a half of the cup of water out of the puffer fish right now. In here, I'm going to take half a cup out of there. And then I'm going to put a full cup from the new aquarium in with the puffer fish. And I'll see you when that happens. All right, so it's been a few minutes. I'm just going to take the lid off. Both the puffers are doing good. I'm going to just take the cup. Dip it in the water. Take out about half. And grab another cup full. Pour it in. And put the lid back on. You're going to want to repeat this process every 5 to 10 minutes for a half hour to 45 minutes. Now I'll see you after that's done.
All right, while the pufferfish are acclimating, I just wanted to talk to you about how I cycled this aquarium. The sand in this aquarium was used in another aquarium. Same with all these pieces of coral. The coral are real porous, so there's a lot of area for bacteria to grow on. Same thing with that piece of dry rock back there. That was used in another aquarium as well. Half of this aquarium water is from another aquarium, and then it is new water. So it was like getting a 50% water change off the rip. And there is a guppy in here. This guppy is now currently living in semi-saltwater conditions. It's almost marine. And we're going to try to get that guppy all the way up to being a marine creature, as well as these little puffers here. But yeah, you want to make sure you fully cycle your aquarium. I don't believe puffers to be the most of resilient creatures. So you just want to make sure you get all the steps in and be safe. All right, now that they're in there, I'm just going to turn the light off and let them continue the acclimation process. All right, while the green spotted puffers are acclimating, well, finishing acclimating, we're going to check out this guy here, the figure eight. The figure eight was uh, pretty colorless, actually. He was almost all like a, uh, like a golden yellow color. And now he's starting to get his color back, so I think it was just the stress from having the green spotted in there as well. So we'll, we'll check up on this guy in a little while again. He seems to be doing much better already. A lot more relaxed. Don't worry, bud. We'll get you a friend soon. Check that out, guys. Excuse this empty tank, but if you got any ideas on what to fill it with, let me know in the comments. It's a 10-gallon hexagonal tank, but we got the axolotls, the pufferfish in the compartment, and TV on the wall instead. And two micro tanks over here. I think it looks great. Now I gotta get this Lexi off my lap. And come say hi to Bubbles. And Kiwi. Looks great. They seem to be liking it. They're happy. Their colors are all correct. They're swimming around. I think it was a successful acclimation. What do you guys think? Think it's good? I think it's good. What do you think, Bubbles? What was that? You think they should subscribe? And hit the like button? Alright, gotta listen to Bubbles. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Hope you learned how to acclimate your fish correctly and successfully. And see you in the next video.